Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Patton and this is another episode of Sizzle in the Middle. And with me today, I have Lisa Greenfield, a hand analyst. Hi Lisa. Hello Tracy, thank you so much for having me on Sizzle um, in the Middle. It's per Okay, I cannot wait to tell you about this hand analysis stuff. And you just start, oh, oh. start explaining what it wow. is. And you know what, before you do that though, tell me how you came to do this. Because she has a pretty interesting story. Well, first of all, teenage years are always tough. I discovered at 13 that you could not only read minds, you could read the future, and you had the power to change it. That's what I discovered with hand analysis. So I was hooked. That was so, it. So you are saying then that your hands can predict your future and then also you can create your future. Well, that's just it. They can predict your future because you are creating your future. And this. when you change your mind, you actually change the line. So all the lines in your hand are created by the nerves in the center of your brain. And those thoughts and feelings are sending the, the electrical impulses that sculpt out that map on your hands. Okay, I know you're all looking uh, at your hands right now. Uh, so when, when they're looking at their hands, mm -hmm. what, what tell them uh, a couple of things they can... Well, there's the okay. hand shape, there's heart line, there's head line, and there's life line. Life line does not tell you how long you live. It does not. But we, in hand analysis, it's not about us being the authority. We want you to understand that you can actually understand this language. Should, so, I show, should we yes, show them my show hand? Them, okay. show them. With Tracy, we've got a heart line, which is the one that runs from under your pinky up and over under one of these okay, fingers. That, okay, all right? that curve this one. is yours, and yours comes up under Saturn, that middle finger, because yes, it maps to astrology. And it's a curved line, which means that you like a lot of emotional territory. You, you can speak your mind. You can speak up for yourself. Fire is intuitive. Fire absolutely wants to move the boundaries and explore more. So, and so tell me again how, how you see the fire. What's the fire sign in my hand? Fire is if it ends under Saturn in the middle and okay. it's curved up towards the fingers. Okay. That is fire. If it's curved and it's up by the, the first finger, which is Jupiter, that's air. If it's long and straight over here under the Jupiter finger, that's water. And if it's short and straight under Saturn back here in the middle, it's Earth. So you make okay. fire, air, water, Earth in those general regions. Okay, so, so what, what else can you tell us just in the moment uh -huh. about, about our hands? And also, I mean, are there good hands and bad hands? Well, there's no such thing as a bad <laughs> I hand. I know you're all thinking that, yeah. right? You're going, is my yeah. hand a good no. hand or a bad hand? No, and this is one of the things I love about hand analysis because some of us have lousy coping skills that make us a little less pleasant to be around, but there is no good or bad person. There's no good or bad hand. Um, they just are people who are making much better use of it. So what I love about hand analysis is your chance to really understand what you've got going on in your hand and harnessing it and putting it to work for you so that it's so much easier to accomplish what you want to. So it's easier to make your dreams come true using the power of a fire heart is you are an intuitive feeling person. You inspire, your passion literally gets other people inspired. Air is our innovators. Our air people are the ones who are continually reinventing. Water are the Mother Teresas. You know, they are the connectors. They are all about love. And so by knowing our hands, mm -hmm. how can that help us you know, lead, a, I don't know, lead a more adventurous life or make the changes? Well, well that's another whole show, but okay. just to start okay. with, just to start, I'm let just me so tell you, about exactly. Each, each one of these elements has a promise and a caution. And so the promise with a fire heart, which you have, is that you can inspire and you can intuitively get people hooked into doing change that may not be comfortable for them by themselves you know it's it's but it's the only element that requires fuel this so you need is, other people okay so i know the other thing you mm -hmm. do and i know we don't have time to talk about this now but next time next episode we're going to talk about love and the hand and yeah. how you can because oh. i think this could be another really powerful thing about hand analysis is understanding someone else's hand well, this is the ultimate personality profile right here. So instead of yep. looking at their hand, have them write their hand, hand um, their signature, yes. just show their hand. Well, I, I, you know, I, envision, I envision dating services of the future having scans of your hand. 
so that you can yes. actually see people's personality in their hand scans. But then, of course, there'll be a you know hand double, you know, just for those those truly scorpionic ones that like their privacy. But yeah, this is your ultimate personality profile. So you'll have to come back for that one. Well, I think mm. we're gonna have to come back definitely and talk more about this and talk more about our love lives and our hands and our man's hands and our spouse's hands and just oh, it everyone's works in hands. every relationship, or even in business, yeah. whatever. Roommates, parents, families. Perfect. It's a way to harness what your strengths are and know where your buttons can be pushed if you don't already know and know where other people's buttons can be pushed, not so you can push them. Oh darn. So, All that, right. you, so oh. that you can make the most of it. So Lisa, tell them about that their hand analysis thing they can do right now. Every, I've got, because I'm passionate about making sure everybody knows this, um, I have an online software. You can do a free hand analysis, a mini one, three to four minutes, at mytruthinhand.com. And it's very cool. It's a very cool site. You have to check it out. And that's why you can figure things out about yourself well, right now. Yeah, you can find it because it has your headline, your heart line, your hand shape. Of course, we start there. But most importantly, relationships. I love it. Okay. And then come back for the relationship show. And that's what we'll yeah. talk about next time. So we will see you next time. Yeah. Oh, and go to sizzleinthemiddle.com oh, yes. to find out about, you know, being a sizzle chick in the middle. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. And Reinvent you. yourself at Sizzle in the Middle. Yes. And through your hands. Yes, exactly. Harness it all through your hands at Sizzle in the Middle. I love it. Thank okay. You. We'll see you next time.